Hi guys, today I want to show you how easy it is to create an album design with InDesign when you use templates. Um, I'm going right into InDesign and as you see I'm creating a new document. Um, my albums are always 30 by 30 centimeter or 25 by 25 centimeter and this one is now an example for a 25 by 25 centimeter with one centimeter margin. So, what I'm going to do first is creating some pages for us, so that we have an album. Making them a little bit smaller so that we can see them all. So, what you see here now is a window showing my templates. And these are some of the templates that I like to use most. You can see I have two windows, one for 25 by 25 and one for 30 by 30. As we are creating a 25 by 25 album, we are of course using these templates. Um, what you can do really, really easily with this is you just drag the tablet that you want into your page. You see it's centered and right there we have a perfect um, aligned template and we just need to drag and drop our images there. So just imagine we want to create one page with four um, vertical images and one page with a... sorry with one square image and then what you see here is my Adobe Bridge and um, these are just the favorite pictures from um, Nina's and Paolo's wedding I'm just using this as an example so what I can do now I just really basically take these images drag and drop them here and um, I have my picture here and I do this with all images See how easy it is? What you can do from here, you can make, them, make the images inside your template bigger and would only show what you just chose. Um, you can also make them sm smaller, which wouldn't make any sense. And um, you can also change this template, of course making it smaller and then telling the image to fill this. And just like that you changed the, uh, the, the look and the design of the page with a template that you used before. Um, just imagine you really really like this and you want to use it again, this template, then you would just delete the images like this, you choose all your frames and then here below you see this little paper. You click on it and here you see your new design. I would change the name so that like here it gets into the right order. So these are now five images and I would just call it five story so that you know it's five images but not the same, um, same shape. So, let's do this again. We just take some pictures, we have a dress, we have some shoes, um, the flowers maybe. Maybe the, not this one, maybe this one. And I can rearrange everything these are fine, but this one I could rearrange like I wanted. And again, I can make it bigger. I can also want to make the same alignment like here. I can change it again. And then I tell the picture to fit into that frame and I have a beautiful new design for my album. I can choose where it should be. You see the red lines that will always tell you if you're centered or not. And again, you could save this as your template as I just did before. And if you want to see if it really looks nice, you just get into the preview mode and you will see your album 
album and how it is going to look in the end. Um, these are my starting, um, my starting designs for both 25 by 25 and 30 by 30. And to have you have a good starting point, you can just download them from this post underneath this video and um, try to use them for the album, your albums and you can also create some, some new designs and just save them. So yeah, have fun creating new albums and designs and um, let me know if it helped you. Bye!